Steps to Financial Freedom First, let's talk about the meaning of financial freedom. No matter of whether you just graduated from university, or accumulated plenty of working experiences in the employment market, people nowadays, are so eager to achieve financial freedom, as early as possible. What does financial freedom mean to you? Is it necessary to be rich, or having a lot of money? Is it equal to retirement? Is it a dream, that you cannot make it coming true? The consequence of being financially free, is that you can live the life you want, without the hassles and pressure of your finances. It allows you to do what you want, because you have more control of your finances. It becomes your ideal life. To achieve financial freedom, it's actually not necessary for you to be rich at the moment. As soon as you have enough residual income, you can live the way you want, without worrying about different basic expenses. It's also not referring to retirement at the moment. As soon as your passive income exceeds your expenses, you can choose the kind of lifestyle that you dream for yourself and pursue your passion, whereas it can bring you unlimited happiness and freedom. As everyone may come from different background, it's not so difficult to achieve financial freedom. It's actually not a dream. If you can start your journey, by following the steps to financial independence below. Let's talk about steps to financial freedom. First, save more and spend smartly. You should create habit of saving up at least one third of your monthly income. If you pay one third of your income to your parents, you should have two third left. Half of it, is strictly not allowed to cash out for spending, whereas the remaining part of income should be wisely spent. If you can save as much of your monthly income as possible, it can speed up the target of being financially free. If you can start saving for the future, you can invest earlier and learn to invest wisely so that the power of compounding effect is more significant. When you're making purchase, it should not be judged by the brand only. Instead, you should compare price, durability, and functionality. By making comparison via different online portals, it would help you to judge whether the product or service is worth the cost. When paying through credit card, you should be aware of the high interest rate for late payment. Please set alert for settling payment online, especially if you hold multiple credit cards. It's also getting popular for some new payment methods. For example, merchants intend to attract you to buy the product now and receive it immediately while paying for it at a later stage. It's a type of installment loan and you'll be billed to your credit card with interest and handling fee for late payment. It would become your debt if you cannot handle it well. Please be reminded to set alert, and it can avoid growing debt. Hence, please think twice before making purchase, and get smarter when using your credit card, rather than resulting in unnecessary burden. Second, invest and bank wisely. When you've saved up some money, you should try to grow your money rather than keeping in a savings account. Before starting investment, please perform research for different types of investment products that suit you and understand the underlying risks involved. You should diversify your investment by considering stock and investment fund purchase. For stock trading, depending on your age, you can be more aggressive for the first 20 years of employment. After the mid of 40s, 
a relatively high percentage should be allocated for investment funds with low to medium risks for securing the investment return. The market is sometimes fluctuating and you should keep track of the performance and make necessary adjustment. Please be reminded to consult the investment advisor. For banking wisely, using digital banking is very common now. In fact, you may not aware of some value-added services that can increase your efficiency. You may have performed fund transfer, bill payment, and stocks purchase at mobile banking. Some banks offer online chatting service for supporting customer inquiries conveniently. Whenever you encounter problems, you can just have text chat with the bank anytime and they can provide you answers straightly rather than giving a call or visiting the branch during office hours. Some banks can provide video broadcasting for investment topics and market insight that you can be kept track of the latest investment market without losing the chance of capturing investment opportunity. Some banks can provide wealth planning tool so that you can set goals for different life cycles. It would facilitate you to come up with a clear planning of what's the amount of saving and period required. Third, earn more. To boost your monthly income, switching job is the easiest way to increase your salary. Depending on the professionalism of your post, the range of increase can be between 10% and 30%. Employers usually do not prefer jumpy candidates, whose employment period is less than one year for each post. Hence, switching job can only be considered every two years or more. Another way to increase income is to get the industry's qualification of your work. Depending on your job nature, the level of competence can be determined and recognized by taking some professional courses and examinations. Your efforts should be able to pay off by investing for your long-term future. The third way to create the additional sources of your income is to take up a part-time job. For example, tutor, consultant, and customer service representative. Nowadays, being a slash is more accepted by youngsters, rather than working as a permanent role at designated employer. A slasher can make multiple income streams simultaneously from different careers. He or she can be a freelancer of designing website, teaching drawing, and being a secret shopper for a retail shop at the same time. No matter of being a permanent staff or a slasher, you can earn more by investing your leisure time after normal office hours. Based on the sharing of some slashes, their monthly salary is even higher than that of their permanent job. Last but not the least, the preparation of achieving financial freedom may last for 10 to 20 years. Hence, you have to be patient, disciplined, and sticking to the plan of rule of saving, spending, and investing. Although you may encounter obstacles, for example, lack of planning, overspending, sudden family or medical issues. It's still an achievable goal as soon as you remain mindful about the way you spend and save. As you've strong passion to build the life of your dream, you must be able to have hard work and dedication by setting yourself on the path to the ultimate goal. Financial planning. Welcome. May I help you? Hi. I would like to know more about your wealth planning services. Sure. Please take a seat here, and our customer service manager will serve you.
Kindly wait for a moment. Oh, thank you. It's very nice here. Morning, sir. Sorry for keeping you waiting. May I know the types of products you're interested in? I'll retire in the coming five years. I've spotted your promotion recently and would like to check if there are any products that are suitable for me to invest. If you'll be the retiree, it's especially important to choose your investments carefully. Yes. Retirement may last longer than the working years. I'm so worried about my retirement life. It's a common concern nowadays because the medical advancements will lead to longer life expectancies. It would then cause higher living and medical expenses. It's such a big question to me. I would like to spend more time with friends and family, engage in hiking, and enjoy exotic travel vacations. There are so many online tools, such as budgeting and retirement calculators. I sometimes feel overwhelming and confused how I should plan for it, without any incorrect assumption and consideration. It's certainly not your question and concern, but the public. In order to obtain a certain level of protection for retirement life, people start planning even after graduation. I've hesitation about my savings, whether they are sufficient or not for me and my family. Or should I continue to work after retirement? I think everyone does not want to work after the retirement age. Retirement is not a destination. It's actually a new phase of joyful life. However, how can I ensure that there is adequate income for my comfortable and secure living? As the savings are limited, you should try to turn savings into income in the long run. I'm not willing to take more risks because of the potential loss of the value. Many older generations prefer less risky investments when they're close to the retirement age. As there may be longer retirements, should I take on some risks in my portfolio? Higher risks may bring higher returns or higher losses. Yet, everyone works hard to build and preserve the assets during the working years. In addition to investment risk, there is also inflation risk that will lower your purchasing power. It's truly covering complex issues. First of all, you should diversify your portfolio for minimizing the risks. What do you mean of diversification? You should try to choose a mix of investment products within your portfolio for managing risks. I've heard of the concept before. That is, avoiding the risk of having all eggs in one basket. The goal of a diversified portfolio is to outperform the majority of more focused one rather than maximizing returns. Oh, my goodness. It's such a challenge to me. You can make your life more enjoyable through financial planning by choosing our services. Our professional advice will help you to select investments from a range of different regions industries, and asset classes. We can create a holistic plan so that you're confident about your retirement. I think I'm prepared for retirement because I've accumulated wealth and stayed disciplined of my spending in the past 20 years. There are several areas that you should take cautious consideration, including income source, debt, insurance, legacy, and tax. 
Can you give me some advices of maintaining the long-term growth of my wealth? The balance of risks and returns is critical. It's significant to decide allocating an appropriate percentage of your portfolio into cash, stocks, investment funds, and bonds. I'm more prudent with the investment choices now. In turn, I would like to maintain a certain level of living as well. Our professional team can offer you the ideal investment solutions. We help you define and achieve the goals through tailored advice for tomorrow and future generations. We can also help you prepare better for expected and unexpected expenses. Through our expertise, we'll arrange a detailed assessment of your current situation and come up with an estimate of your retirement income. Cash flow analysis will be provided so that you've a clear picture of income and expenses. As you've mentioned, maintaining current lifestyle is required, and this cash flow plan will be monitored in a regular basis. Finally, our team of experienced and investment professionals will optimize your wealth by providing you strategic advice and solutions. We act in the best interests of clients with due skill, care, and diligence. You'll be well informed and appropriately advised throughout the financial journey. Please have rest assured that we'll include everything concerning your savings, investments, fund flow, debt, insurance, and other relevant elements for an effective planning procedure. Can we make an appointment with you to begin the assessment? It's amazing that your bank has got the award of the best wealth management provider for the past consecutive five years. Let me check my schedule. Right. Our award demonstrates our unique expertise, and we pride ourselves on our leadership and excellence. I'll be available this Friday afternoon. How about 3 p.m.? It's cool, and we'll fix the schedule with our financial advisor. Before the meeting, our financial advisor will contact you to prepare some basic information. That's great. And it's fine with me. Thanks for your patience and time today. You're welcome. Thank you. Looking for life protection. Good morning, sir. May I help you? I would like to inquire about the information of insurance products. Sure. My name is Jenny. Would you please take a seat? Thank you. We've different types of insurance products. May I have your check? The types of protection you're looking for? I would like to provide financial support to my wife and children in the event of my death. We can offer you a wide range of reliable protection plans that can suit your needs. I would like to ensure my family is looked after continually. Yes. Life is sometimes complicated and can be unpredictable. Reducing the financial burden on my beloved ones is my key purpose. What types of insurance plans should I get? Please rest assured that our choices of products can keep your family financially secure. I'm the sole breadwinner in a family and also a new parent raising a young family. I would like to maintain their current lifestyles during my absence. Thanks for your information. You're really a fantastic husband. Would you like to consider temporary or permanent protection? What do you mean by temporary? 
temporary means that the protection lasts for a limited period. For example, 10, 15, 20 years, and so on. It does not belong to lifelong coverage. Is the life cover given during the limited period only? Right. It's a pure life cover within a fixed term of period. It's quite flexible, and the period can be as short as 5 years, and as long as 30 years. It sounds great. How's the structure? The structure of the plan is simple. You can choose how much cover you need, and the length of protection. You can just pay for the fixed premium monthly. As the premium is lower than that of other life insurance products, it's most affordable by the youngsters. As it's straightforward, it's also the most popular type of life insurance. Do you have any questions? How should I decide the amount of cover? You may think of the scenario. For example, the cost required for paying for your mortgage loan or supporting your children's school years, in the event of your absence. I have a question. What if I live beyond the term period? Can I get anything? Your family will not get any benefit. We'll pay a lump sum of money, upon your death, which should be within the term period. If I pay for the premium on time, can I get any savings or cash value finally? Sorry. With term life insurance, it offers a death benefit without any savings element. I know what you mean. How should I decide the length of coverage? You may think of the case of paying for your mortgage loan. If it'll take 10 years to settle all of your mortgage payment, the length of your coverage is suggested to be at least 10 years. It's one of the ways to determine the length. Alternatively, people also consider the number of working years as the length of coverage. For example, 20 or 30 years. It's treated as an income replacement for the family in case of the death of the breadwinner. Got it. Your beneficiary will receive the amount of death benefit. Okay. I should calculate the amount paid to my family that can cover most of the debts and living expenses. Right. In addition, if the term period is 10 years, you can renew the plan for another 10 years after the end of the period. During renewal, Premium should tend to go up, as you age with change of health condition. If you would like to convert to a permanent life insurance plan, we can also arrange for you later. Let me know about any questions. That's clear. Thank you. It's cool. If you would like to go for lifelong coverage, you can also select our whole life insurance. Please provide me more details. Sure. It's a permanent coverage for your entire lifetime, or till 99 years of age. It's not limited to a fixed period of time. How is the premium payment term? We offer different options. For example, 5, 10, 15 or 20 years. Taking the example of 10 years of payment term, you can still be protected for the whole of your life, even you've completed 10 years of payment. The protection is lifelong period, rather than a fixed period of time. In addition, part of the premium paid can build value over time, and it can generate a guaranteed return rate. Dividends are paid out at regular intervals to the policyholder. Got it. It explains the reason why the premium is more expensive than that of term life insurance. 
Absolutely. To meet customer needs, we've different plans that are designed with different themes. Our objectives are helping customers to accumulate wealth in addition to lifelong protection coverage. Here are the choices of plans. We also have another type of life insurance, which is similar to whole life insurance. It's named as universal life insurance, and you can flexibly select your premium payment term. Let me have a look. We're committed to provide high quality and professional insurance services to our customers. Thanks for your detailed introduction of the differences of plans. In addition, our claiming procedure is also speedy and simple. Our customers can submit the request via our mobile application or website conveniently. Documents can be uploaded online for speeding up the process. During claiming, we understand that customers are in urgent for getting help. The status of approval can be tracked easily, and payment will be made based on the method selected from customers. Our one-stop solution can provide you peace of mind and stress-free protection. Is your customer service center running 7 times 24? We have chatbot which supports customer inquiries anytime. Customers can also approach us via hotline and email. That's great. We can further discuss with you in detail. Our insurance specialists can offer you the most suitable solution based on your coverage goals, family size, income, and financial situation. Good. I would like to understand more. Can you schedule an appointment with me? Definitely. May I have your available date and time? Let me check my diary later.